in peak moments, one FTE can support three to sometimes five hotels. But in night shifts, one FTE can support 10 up to 30 hotels, meaning that um, you can have a very efficient or a more efficient HR planning within the hotel itself. All right, gentlemen, uh, I usually start off with uh, asking you what problem you solve, but looking behind you, you've got people trapped in boxes. And so <laughs> maybe you can describe your product first. Yeah, so what, what we do essentially is we want to evolutionize the way we connect, communicate and engage with each other. And we do that through the power of holographic technology. And that's the hollow box, uh, well, what you can see behind us. It's basically a box where a human being can fit in as a life-size hologram and it will look and feel like you're really standing eye to eye to a specific person. And it can be either done through a live connection or with pre-recorded content. So there's literally, and I, I've seen this in some of your other videos, um, there's a person somewhere, if, if it's live, there's a person somewhere who steps in a, a, a box or an area where they can be uh, essentially transported to, let's say, a hotel lobby. Yeah. When, when, exactly. so some, yeah. Somebody would walk up to a hotel lobby desk, for instance, and your box there is alerted to someone that could be miles and miles away. And they step into their box and they can have an engagement, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, so what it's, how it more often works within hospitality is someone steps into a hotel lobby, then through remote sensor, a welcomes video will be displayed, which is a pre-recorded video. Then there are several buttons on the screen um, with several options. And behind most of the buttons is another pre-recorded message uh, saying something about the title of the button itself. But they can also click on, I want to speak to a live employee. That request will be sent through headquarters and headquarters has a recording station uh, so the employee gets a request coming in uh, inside the program, uh, our online platform, and then they can call into that specific box, step in in front of the camera and be there within a couple of seconds. So and exactly the same model behind me is uh, present in a hotel uh, for, for our partner. So the little box, explain the little box to us real quick. Yeah, so the little box is uh, essentially the same as the big box but it's uh, maybe more convenient in small places or also in retail for, for example, for shoes or for, for smaller products. But we have it also installed in different locations, different hotels where they have less space for a big box. Um, so they use the same technology and have the same feeling as uh, speaking to a physical person, but then a, a little bit smaller. Yeah, and to add to that, um, it, it, indeed, it's, it's also installed in places where the lobby is quite small but also at bigger hotels where they have exactly. the, the corridors on the first, second, and third floor, mm -hmm. uh, where they also wanted to integrate this holographic technology, but not within a, in a big box. So um, they use a small box in the corridor, just as an extra surface for the visitor uh, in hotel. So. Got it. So, so what problem do you think you're solving? Like, why would a hotel invest in something like this? Well, it's partially, of course, the, the main problem um, that I think the whole sector is facing right now, and it's the staff shortage and the lack of quality staff um, that is available on the market right now. So I think partially this could solve that problem by rethinking a business model and um, having holographic employees on site instead of having needing a physical person on site, because... In peak moments, one FTE can support three to sometimes five hotels, but in night shifts, one FTE can support 10 up to 30 hotels, meaning that um, you can have a very efficient or a more efficient HR planning within the hotel itself. Um, on the other side, we do think that's not only um, solving a problem, it's also enhancing the customer experience, which is um different than really solving a problem it's like more uh creating a new dimension into uh to the customer satisfaction uh so we have five stars hotel integrating the technology where gm in the morning welcomes the visitor 
Then the box, then the box will be uh, transported to the lunch room where a saxophonist is playing inside it. Then in the midday in the lobby, you have a book reading or maybe a speaker um, it's telling something and they can sit in the lobby and watch it. And then in the evening, you have a DJ in the box. Uh, so that's a very different use case, not solving a problem, but really um, creating a, an extra dimension into the, to the customer experience. And also adding um, the way of hospitality and the way of serving the clients in the hotel is uh, can be made on a different level. So, for example, if you have check-in procedures being done through the box, then uh, the, the, the employees can enhance their other qualities towards the clients in a different way. So we have more satisfying, uh, more satisfied customers and uh, more satisfied personnel also. Yeah, you could have a you could have a front desk person checking people in, but you could also have a uh, one of your boxes checking people in at the same time because there's a lot of times there's exactly. a line, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so it it really yeah differ from hotel to hotel how they use it. So sometimes we have a chain in Amsterdam they use it as a replacement of the online uh, on site staff member. But another chain is also using it in terms of sickness or when um, during peak moments, visitors have to wait quite long in the line as an extra portal to just beam in an extra employee um, at flexible hours. Or different uh, languages. And different example. languages, yeah. for yeah. example. So, um, yeah, it, it really it really depends on the, the specific needs of the hotel chain itself on how they can use and deploy the box. So what kind of feedback are you getting from your hotel clients? Quite good uh, feedback already. Um, we can see in, uh, we have on booking.com quite a lot of uh, um, yeah rates uh, regarding the holographic technology. Most of them are um, positive and they really like the technology. Of course, there are also some people that find it quite strange, think it's an AI model instead. It's a, a physical person being projected as a live hologram. Um, so it, it needs some time to adapt, um, but the experience overall uh, is received very, very well. So what about setup? Like how long does it take to get something like this in your hotel up and running? So if you have like a, uh, an order and, and the transportation has been done, all the testing and all the installations and all the uh, all the protocols that would have to have to be uh, written or been, uh, been uh, provided, uh, when delivery, I think it's approximately like two hours to install and have, have it up and running. So it's really a plug and play installation uh, with the content management system built inside, just the power input, put in the, placing the camera on the right position and you're up and running. So by now, do you do you have probably some, some templated type hotel uh, op, um, applications to where if a, a new hotel comes to you and says, yeah, I'm interested, uh, Let's go. It's like, where do I start? You can like, okay, this is where, this is how the other hotels have started. And you might want to start here and then we can go from there. Yeah, exactly. No. For now, it's because we're at the at the first stage of implementing this technology. We can see that right now it's a lot of customization. What do the, the client wants? But in the future, I think it's becoming more standard to standard because I know then we know what the client really wants and what kind of templates we can make. Uh, what's important for uh, an hotel chain. Um, so yeah, we're in, we're in the middle now in between fully customization and we can standardize already some integrations uh, within the box. I think a good example is also the, the, the hotel chain in Amsterdam that has just uh, a, a, like a screensaver and then pushing the button and being, uh, being beamed in with the live receptionist. Uh, but the other hotel, for example, Aiden, uh, which is behind me, they have a lot of functionalities on the screen with a lot of videos or information behind the button. So there is customization uh, that is possible, but we need to uh, we need to find a fine line between different types of subscriptions, which come with different possibilities and, and models. So this is a is this a sub is this a subscription model? Are they buying them? How does that look? Well, the first clients, they bought the box. We're now shifting more and more towards a monthly uh, subscription model. And within that monthly fee, everything is included. So hardware, software, um, SLA, we offer six hours of support per month. 
because it is very important that the technology always um, runs smoothly because in some places it's re replacing a physical uh, employee. Uh, so it has to run always good. Um, so yeah, everything will be included in one package and then you could subscribe for one, three or five year contract. And then based on the volume and based on the number of years put in the contract, there's uh, yeah, an, an amount for that. And that varies between yeah, 1,250 euro a month to 2,500 euro a month. This is awesome. I think this is a great way to augment staff in a hotel and uh, improve the guest experience too. I think it's great. And I know you're Thank headed you. to high tech. Thank you. And I look forward to meeting you at high tech. Yeah, the same. Yeah, same Looking for you. meeting you. So everybody <laughs> watching, we are at High Tech. Uh, feel free to uh, to come to our booth and uh, we can explain you the technology on site, hopefully. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank All right. you. Thanks. Bye-bye.